Who are the people that always seem to be one step ahead, those who carry an aura of success around them? Believe it or not, the secret lies in the mind, or more specifically, in reprogramming the subconscious mind. For centuries, monks have utilized affirmations and mantras to shape their realities, and now, you can too. Affirmations and mantras are much more than mere words, they are codes for our brain. Monks, for instance, use prayer beads to meditate, repeating affirmations like, I am happy, or, I am confident, 108 times in a row. Each bead serves as a tactile reminder to keep focus on the affirmation. Imagine the power of these words being repeated so many times, reprogramming your subconscious mind. Using clear and positive words helps the mind understand what you desire. Words alone are not enough, however. When you say, I love flowers, your mind searches its memory for all occurrences of the term, flowers. Thus, it's essential to visualize the specific flower you're speaking of to provide the right context. The most crucial component is the feeling or emotion you infuse into your affirmations. It's this emotional energy that helps attract what you desire into your life. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. What this means is that everything in the world, including our thoughts and emotions, has a vibrational frequency. If you can program your subconscious with patterns that vibrate at a certain frequency, you will attract things of a similar nature into your life. It's not just about what you think, but how you feel. If your subconscious is filled with patterns that vibrate at the frequency of anger, you will attract situations and people that match that energy. Conversely, if you infuse your mind with vibrations of happiness and success, that's what you'll attract. The subconscious is like a garden. You can sow anything you wish in it, but if you don't tend to it, weeds will overrun it. Affirmations, mantras, and conscious attention are the tools with which you tend to this garden. Don't underestimate the power of the present moment. The subconscious is heavily influenced by what we do repeatedly, yes, but awareness of the present moment is the catalyst for all change. It's not just about reciting affirmations, but about living them, experiencing them, and feeling them in every fiber of your being, at every moment. People often are so busy talking, even in their own minds, that they forget to listen. Listening is also a form of subconscious programming. Ask yourself, how am I feeling right now, and listen to the answer. This simple practice can reveal much about the subconscious patterns you have. Try adding a dynamic element to your affirmations. For instance, as you chant, I am happy, feel this happiness permeate every part of your body through dance or movement. This dynamic approach will anchor the affirmations not just in your mind, but throughout your entire being. Reprogramming the subconscious is, in many ways, an act of transcending the ego. The ego wants you to believe you're a product of your circumstances, limited and flawed. The true self, however, knows you are infinite in your potential. Powerful affirmations and mantras are those that help you transcend the ego and recognize your true self. Remember, you are part of a universal energy network. Your subconscious is not just yours, it is connected to the collective subconscious. The vibrations you send out not only affect you but also the world around you. So, when you reprogram your subconscious, you contribute to a more harmonious world. If you wish to join the 1% who live more consciously and intentionally, start not just by repeating words but by living them, feeling them, and embodying them at every moment. In doing so, you're not just changing your own life but also sending waves of positivity that have the potential to change the world. The real revolution starts within you. Start now.
Subconscious reprogramming is indeed a key to unlocking doors not just to material success but also to spiritual growth. Many talk about the law of attraction, but few understand the magic of synchronicity. When your vibrations align with what is good and true, the universe conspires to bring those occurrences to you. What seems like coincidence is actually the cosmos responding to your frequency. So, when you focus on reprogramming your subconscious, be attentive to the signs of life. In the stillness of the mind is where true transformation occurs. Taking a moment to quiet the mind after your affirmations is like watering a planted seed, it allows the energy of the universe to nourish it. The answers you seek often come in the silence. To truly change, you must first accept where or who you are. This is a critical step that many overlook. They wish to reprogram their subconscious minds to escape from themselves. However, you can only set off for a new destination if you know where you currently stand. So, before beginning your affirmations, say, I accept myself, here and now. Make this your first affirmation. Understanding karma is not just about understanding actions and their consequences but also how your beliefs and thoughts shape your reality. Affirmations and subconscious reprogramming are ways to create positive karma, so to speak. But be mindful, for what you send to the universe will come back to you in ways you might not expect. To receive, you must first give. This is a universal law. If you're using affirmations to attract abundance, start by being generous. If you want love, offer love. By putting these energies into the universe, you activate a cycle of reciprocity. The present moment is all we have. It's where life happens and where the subconscious is most impressionable. So, as you repeat your affirmations, understand that each, now, is a seed planted in the eternity of your being. The journey to reprogram the subconscious mind is, in fact, a spiritual journey that begins and ends with you but reverberates through the dimensions of the universe. Proceed with courage, mindfulness, and unconditional love, for these are the true keys to unlocking your entire potential. It's fascinating to see how the many facets of spirituality intertwine, I could add a few more pearls of wisdom to this spiritual tapestry we are weaving. Reprogramming the subconscious is a journey many undertake, but it's crucial not to forget that behind all this process is consciousness, the grand observer. Amid affirmations and visualizations, ask yourself, who is observing this process? This observer is your true nature, your true self. It's true that you should have a clear intention when reprogramming your subconscious. However, intention should not turn into obsessive desire. When you intensely want something and don't receive it, frustration sets in. So, have intention, but don't be a slave to desire. As the Tao says, act without doing, work without effort. If you truly wish to reprogram your subconscious mind to attract what's beneficial for you, you must learn the art of detachment. We're often enslaved by the very things we wish to attract into our lives. Freedom lies in the ability to detach from the outcome and revel in the present. Ultimately, reprogramming the subconscious mind isn't about just changing specific aspects of your life. It's about shifting your entire consciousness so that you can live in a higher state of awareness, well-being, and love. And when you do so, you find that life becomes a beautiful play of synchronicities, opportunities, and joy.